Velma continues to flop. This show just continues to do bad. And I already made a video talking about this yesterday. But because of all these new updates that this show gets every week, and because every time I make a video on this show, it gets plenty of views, I just can't help myself but to make another one. So the Rotten Tomato scores for Velma just keep going down. These new episodes just keep getting bad reviews. And we can take a look at the scores on Rotten Tomatoes. For the critic score, it's sitting at a 50%. And the audience score is at a 6. How pathetic. When you make a show that's supposed to be full of diversity and representation, and even the people that support that stuff don't like this show, you know how bad it is. These scores, that is just terrible. And it doesn't seem like people like this show. It doesn't seem like people care for it. I quit after the first two episodes. I don't care about the rest of them. I don't think anyone does. But this is the type of content that we get now from Hollywood. You know, the it's just more of the same woke generic trash where the men get disrespected and treated like shit and the women are super strong and powerful. If there is anybody to be held accountable for all of this woke trash that we've gotten over the years, it's Disney. For my new subscribers, for new people that are watching this video, Disney is the sole reason why we get nothing but these generic trash woke shows, these trash movies, trash video games, trash comic books. Disney is to blame because you have a multi-billion dollar company that bought a popular movie series, Star Wars, and they made that terrible sequel trilogy, Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker. And ever since that damn Force Awakens came out, it, that movie ruined cinema. Now all you get from Hollywood is this woke trash where they just make the men act stupid and the women be super powerful and strong. Like, they don't give a damn about the story. They don't give a damn about the characters. They don't give a damn about the writing. They just care about stuffing it to the brim with diversity and identity politics and representation. And because of Disney doing this, all these other dumbass companies got inspired to do the same thing. You got Sony with The Last of Us Part 2. You got um, Amazon with the Lord of the Rings franchise. They made that awful Rings of Power show. You got Netflix with The Witcher Blood Origin. That was another flop. And now you got HBO Max with this Velma show. Like everything is just going down this Disney path, this Star Wars sequel trilogy path, the Force Awakens path. Like, hey, we can take a popular franchise that people love and destroy it and fill it with identity politics. Disney's doing it. Let's do it too. You know, that type of logic, that type of thinking, this just brings a large amount of destruction to the world. Like Hollywood, you guys realize how much of a waste these projects are. But yeah, anyway, back to Velma. Um, this show just continues to do bad. The scores keep going down for Rotten Tomatoes. The scores on IMDb keep getting lower. This is now the third worst show on IMDb. And this show is just going to continue to get worse. No one cares for it. No one likes it. And I, it's funny because ever since this show came out, more people are starting to appreciate the older Scooby-Doo content. People started watching the those 1990 VHS Scooby-Doo movies where the monsters were real. People started watching the, the early 2000s Hanna-Barbera Scooby-Doo movies. People started watching uh, Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. And the funny thing is, I, I watched Scooby-Doo since I was little. I watched all of those when I was a little kid. And because of this trash Velma show, people are now starting to appreciate the old stuff. And that's funny because that, that's a pattern in Hollywood. Every time something trash comes out, people start appreciating and liking the thing that came out before it. The Star Wars sequel trilogy made people appreciate the prequels and everything else is going down the same path. It just saddens me. You know, this Velma show, I, I just want it to come to an end. But on the bright side, you can still watch the old Scooby-Doo cartoons. I'm going to go ahead and watch Zombie Island again. That was a pretty good movie. But yeah, this Velma show is just a fluke. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. Give this video a like. Be sure to follow my Instagram. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.